Uh, I'm Carrie Ann and this uh, is Benjamin's. Yeah. Um, we just decided to try the first ever snack crate. Snack crate. Uh, you turn around. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we've gone for Poland. There was only two options. Yeah, when we did it, it was Spain and Poland, and I thought Spanish stuff would be pretty similar to what we've got in the UK. Um, Maybe not. Obviously, there'd be some differences, but. <laughs> Yeah, we've got Poland, so that's um, one of the things you get in the Poland snack crate. So yeah, so should we just talk about what a snack crate is? Yeah, um, and let's go through it? basically this. So basically you find it online, um, and they basically send you gifts monthly, I think. Yeah, they said the last crate was actually from the UK, but that wouldn't benefit us because we are from the UK. So <laughs> if I wanted just those snacks, snacks, I would just go down to the shop. And buy. But this month crate, as you said, is Poland. It gives you this nice little sheet that tells you about the country. Where um, Poland is, which if you didn't know is Yeah, so is the capital is Warsaw. I probably pronounced that wrong, so I do apologise. <laughs> it was established April the 14th, 966. Doesn't tell me how many. So basically they give you a bit of facts about Poland or whatever country you've chosen for your snack crate. It's really handy actually. So here we go, fun facts. The name Poland originates from the tribe Polani, which means people living in open fields. If we pronounce that wrong, I'm very sorry for any Polish people. Yeah. Uh, Poles eat pizza with ketchup. I'm not sure why that's a fun fact. But... <laughs> I'm sure loads of people get yeah, probably eat pizza like, with ketchup. Oh, what kind of fact is that? Ketchup. I wouldn't bet pizza. Actual ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. No, I don't know what that sauce. was. Yeah. This is my try to put Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So. That fact? Uh, oh, this fact here is pretty cool. Okay, um, well, let's read this one. Okay. Poland is one of the few countries in the world where courteous hand kissing is still a common practice. Good old men. Yeah. Not old men, just just men in general. Just well done. My favourite one is the most world's strongest man competition. Winners are from Poland. Sorry, I'm covering your head. Yeah, cheers, pal. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks um, yeah, so basically it's that crate, you get a bunch of snacks because it's in a crate, in a box, every month and you can decide whether you, what country you would like them from, I'm guessing. Um, I'm sorry my glare on my glasses, but there we go. So this... So you can got. also, as it says here, I can't see it because it's probably back in front, you can get a drink upgrade. So if we had got the drink upgrade, you'd get, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but it's a bubbly orange flavoured soda. It's a favourite of all ages throughout Poland. It's called Smack. Yeah, it's called Smack. <laughs> it's slogan which translates to You praise someone you do not know your own. It's arrived from local Polish writer Stanislaw Jakowicz. I've probably got that wrong. Again, if I have, I apologise. The only Polish I know is Dziękuję bardzo. And from what I've been told, that's thank you very much. But if it's not, and they've told me it is. Tell us in the comments. Yeah, tell me be... in the comments because <laughs> I'm probably saying something like I'm a knob. So. Probably. Who knows? <laughs> um, Yes, and you get also little cute little stickers if you can see. Really sweet. If you want to use stickers, yeah. Um, what else do you get? And one more snacks from Poland. Again, that's going to be back to front. So I'll read it. Visit snackcrate.com slash Poland, Poland if you would like Polish snacks. And it comes in a little really sweetly wrapped packet box. box. Um, hashtag snack crate if anyone was interested. So oh, what's up? So the first snack is. I think you want to get that out. Just wanted to hide our address. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> um, Chris. It's called. Tapsy. Tapsy snacky. Tea. That's not a tea. Is that a tea? If that's a tea, I'm wrong. Tapsy, it's got. A bit. But that's what it is. It's cheese flavored. Snacks. Should we open one? Go on in. Yeah. Let's, open it. Let's try it. Let's try this out. Let's see if it's going to be good. Cute. Okay. Oh. They smell like what? Quavers? Yeah, they kind of They like... smell like quavers. They kind of are like quavers. Rigid like walkers. Hmm. It's like quavers, but more like... wafery. Yeah. It sounds weird when I mean mm. wafery. But it's got like a wafer texture to it. They're quite soft. Mm. But when, with a nice crunch. And if you add quavers, you know what I mean. So, there you go. They're basically quavers. I'm just going to have another one before we come yeah. in. What ah. would you rate that out of 10? It's good quaver, good. 
I'm gonna give it a seven. Six, seven, yeah, yeah. The only reason I say it is the texture again, very wafery, so it's a bit weird when you're not used to it. Because quavers, when you eat it, they're quite crunchy. Mm. I'm not nice. really a crispy person, but that does close those quite nice. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's a good quite snack. a big bag. And it's a big bag. So and also, I'll go wrong with that. like, that's pretty full for crisps. Yeah, you wouldn't get that from all the packets. <laughs> Because if you're watching, no, start putting more air, less air in your crisps, sort it out. All right, also, please don't sue me for like misdemeanors or whatever. Just sort your crisps out. All right, so next snack. Do you know what they look like to me? These look like twiglets, they look like twiglets, but they're bacon flavored. See, I can tell which one of my photos isn't great. Bacon for Yeah, sure. Um, look a bit like dog treats. Do I? Twiglet. Obviously, I'm sure they don't taste like dog treats, but. There you go. GB sticks with smoke flavoured bacon flavour. Mm. Okay. Shall we? We can try a little bit. I don't know what they're. What I've got in them. Oh, you might not like that, please. Yeah. I don't really smell of anything. They don't really smell bacony or. They taste bacony. They're good. They're good, like yeah. I do like them. I trust you on that. I'm not going to have one, but what do you think? I think, like I said, nine. Nine? nine? Yeah. Whoa, they must be. <laughs> they must be alright for you. It's <laughs> the bacon. Mm -hmm. So. I'll let you have the next one to make this. This one looks really sweet. Maybe we should wear that little pack booklet that we had. It has them all in there as well. This one's really sweet. It's like a little heart shape. Mm. This one here. Oh, yeah, actually. This does tell you some of the treats you have inside it. Um, so you've just had that. We just had those two. Yeah, so the bacon. I've had Pluski Beacon. I probably again pronounced that wrong. I should probably just stop. And again, I'm sorry if it's wrong. But crunchy pretzel sticks infused with delicious bacon flavour, the perfect accompaniment to a cold glass of beer. <gasps> Ooh, Get in. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> like that was a beer. You could, I can actually imagine that beer. Right. And then it says about these, and uh, it looks like lapsy. These savoury potato snacks are made with surprisingly delicious combination of cheese and onion flavour. That's these bad boys. And yeah, soft flavours. Yeah. From the UK side of things, we will have flavours, but oh, and this that is, was quite nice. Yeah, that's what you got now. This is what this is. A little heart shaped Buddha. It looks like a little cakey type consistency. Yes, it says you're going to heart this classic Polish gingerbread treat made from a recipe over 700 years old, a simply timeless recipe. Oh. I think you're like that. Like, yeah. I oh, am yeah, good with this. I think that wasp Ooh, there, it's got caramel in it. Sorry, there's like a wasp trying to get into the window. Oh, the window's wide. Yeah, well, these are our treats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get off their mind. So you're trying this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna I really feel like you're gonna like this because she has the more sweetest than me, as you can see, I'm more savoury. Do you know what this sounds like? What? A cinnamon bun. It could well be a cinnamon bun. Oh. It's got a bit of kiss caramel as well on it that I could see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. Mm. Oh, take a look. <laughs> Mm. Cinnamon bunny. Oh yeah, that's right up my alley. Good. You said nine to the other one. This is my nine. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I hate that because I've got these. Do I look good on the other side? No. Mm. But um. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's nice, good. Do you right? Right. Yeah, I think I need to go to Poland and order more of them. Thank you, Poland, for these. This is brilliant. I'm gonna say this little. Man. Yeah. Yeah. This... Yeah. Heart shape goodness. It's got like the glaze over the glazeness over it, like um, a um, Krispy Kreme original donut. Mm. Mm. Or cinnamon bun type. Mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to eat the rest of that tonight. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Should we do this? Then we have them ones three last. Yeah, I'll have a look at those. We've got three little ones in there that are very similar, so we can have them at the end. I've actually tried one of these it's called a Prince Polo Classic. Um, you can get these from Tesco. 
Can uh, you? Yeah. So what, these go, Poland ones? Yeah, so huh. if you go to like, I don't know how often those stores like a, do it. What, like a middle and a Audi? Do you know not They probably have some of these there, to be fair. Yeah, because they um, have different styles. But I'm going to say more like, because Tesco's and Sainsbury's all do like the world foods. Oh, sure, sure. They had that section and I have one of these from there and it was really nice. Quite weight free, so it can give you a dry mouth. Got room guy drinks ready. Um, as I say, what would it be like in a, what was it compared to, to a UK? Yeah, UK, UK. Like, um, I'm trying to think, it's like Whisper. Oh. Not Whisper. Oh. <laughs> So it's nothing like Whisper. Sorry <laughs> for that. Whisper. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can't remember what the sweet like twelve. Anyway, it's like twelve like chocolate, <laughs> but not crunchy like it. It's just wafery. I don't know. That helps mm. no one whatsoever. Anyone know any wafer wafery treats? Should I try a bit. Yeah, well they look like. I was gonna say it looks like a Twix, but it's not. It's quite. A... Yeah, it looks like a Twix. It. It is. It's, it's literally... not in two parts. Yeah, it's a slab it's a... of wafer. You try it first. Oh. oh. That was a good way for this. Snap Sure, sure. So that, yeah, that's really good. Mm. That's good. More. Have more, enjoy. But yeah, as you can see, I'd, I'd break that. Um, 780. Seven. I'll give that an eight because it's nice, but after a while, your mouth feels like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Have yourself a drink with it. Yeah, just because it is going away from you, it builds up in your throat. I mean, that could just be me, I'm eating like an idiot. But, <laughs> yeah, you know. Nice. It's good. I like this one. Popular. So that could be yours in the hot shit. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying these so far. It's quite good. Well, when you. So next. These are. Fresh and fruity. fruity. Are they all the same? Yep. These. But different flavours. Maybe. These chewy. Oh, yes, I believe that's orange. This would be like a. Strawberry, raspberry yep. type. That's an orange. There's these cherry fruit flavoured gummies are filled with a sweet fruit jelly for a burst of fruity goodness in every bite. Now, that so, isn't what one it. are you trying? I'll, we'll try this one, shall we? Those two look seem the same, don't they? They might be the same. Slightly different colour, I think. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that's sort of orange. Okay, so I'll have this pink one. Yep. I'm not really great with jellies, but. Diabetes, here I come. Oh, they're really squishy. They're quite nice, you know what they remind me of? What? Like a softer round tree fruit pastel. Hmm. It's a good texture, and they don't break your teeth. Like fruit That's pastels. actually really nice. Mm, it's yeah. really refreshing as well, actually. Mm, you drink it. <laughs> Jelly. Yeah. Um, there is sweets like this, but I can't remember the name of them. I think yeah. it's like squash, not squash ones. It's a round trees, like in the UK, if it's like a round trees based thing, you'll probably know. But there's ones exactly like this, with a bit of sugar around it, quite thick, jelly. But they, these are very nice, yeah. Um, I'd say give these a little, uh, like a nine. I'd have them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're good. yeah, really sweet. Um, I'm not really a, a huge sweet jelly type of person, I'm very more savoury cakey. She, she is, she loves cake. <laughs> so, for me, in the meantime, this is pretty much nearly gone. Um, this is my favourite thing in the box. Did you know what? More cakey, I'm more of a cakey, savoury. I know I'm more person. savoury in the same, like, sort of, since the crisps. And things like this. Yeah, well, I don't really do crisp, but I like a bit. Yeah. Of, I like a bit she of loves cake. cake and sweets. I don't really like sweets. You do. Not really. More cakey. So this is ideal. No. <laughs> ah. It's gone. This is our first little video. We'll probably do more. And yeah, this is the first video. Um, yeah. Before we do more, and uh, 
obviously, if you are interested, I hate to be that guy to say like and subscribe. But obviously, if you do like, <laughs> please like and subscribe. But do so. Have because your own free will in. <laughs> your own free will. So because you want to, because not because you you've been to. told to. Exactly. <laughs> and also, yeah, just have fun. Enjoy. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.